Factors and multiples. Factors are numbers that divide a given number without a remainder. For example, let's find the factors of 24. We know that 1 times 24 is 24, so both 1 and 24 go into 24 evenly. 2 times 12 equals 24, so that means 2 and 12 are factors. 3 times 8 is 24, so they're factors too. 4 times 6, 5 times, hmm, 5 times nothing. 5 times nothing is 24, it doesn't go into 24 evenly, so get out of here, 5. We already listed 6. 7, 7 times nothing is 24. There. We have all the factors. Next, let's find the factors of 45. We know that 1 times 45 is 45, so both 1 and 45 go into 45 evenly. 2 times nothing is 45. It doesn't go into 45 evenly, so get out of here, too. 3 times 15 equals 45, so that means 3 and 15 are factors. 4 times nothing is 45. Bye-bye, 4. 5 times 9 is 45, so they're factors too. 6, 7, and 8, they don't go into 45, so they're out of here. So there we have it. Here's our list of factors of 45. Let's try some of these examples. Determine whether 28 is a multiple of 7. Well, if we divide 28 by 7, it equals 4. That means it goes in evenly, so the answer is yes. The second example says determine whether 49 is a multiple of 8. Well, if we divide 49 by 8, it goes in 6 times, but that's only 42, and then there's a remainder of 7, so it doesn't go in evenly. Therefore, 49 is not a multiple of 8. Let's explore prime and composite numbers. Prime numbers are numbers greater than 1 whose only factors are 1 and itself. So 2 is prime because the only numbers that multiply to give you 2 is 1 and itself, 2. 5 is prime because the only numbers that multiply to give you 5 is 1 and 5. Same thing with 19 and 29. Now composite numbers are numbers that can be made by multiplying other whole numbers. So for example, 4 is a composite number, because you can get 4 by multiplying 1 times itself, 4. You can also get 4 by multiplying 2 times 2. 12 is composite as well, because not only are the factors 1 and 12, but also 2 and 6 and 3 and 4. 25 has more factors than just 1 and 25, like 5 and 5 so it must be composite too. Same with 49 and 50. Now you're ready to try some problems about factors. Good luck.